Howdy, folks. Good to see you today. This is Peter at AJ's Music and Vintage Guitars. We have a special treat for you. I am offering up for sale one of my private collection guitars, and this thing is really a piece of music history, especially for those of you that really are guitar enthusiasts and music guys that really know the history of rock and roll and blues music. Uh, anyway, this, uh, this guitar here is a 19, uh, it's a 66 or a 67 because in the paperwork they just list the serial number of the guitar and I think they say it's a 67 but I think it might be a 66. Anyway, whatever, it's not important. Anyway, this guitar was Freddie King's and uh, Freddie King switched from the uh, 345 to the 355 for a while. And I think it's probably because of all the bells and whistles, you know. He just loved the, the stereo and, uh, and the different tone controls with this roller, roller dial here. And just, you know, it was the Cadillac, man. He had the ebony fretboard. I mean, it was like the Cadillac Baritz Fleetwood with the moonroof and the Vogue tires and all the shit, man. Okay? Anyway, Freddie played this for a few years. Got a lot of action from him. Uh, you can see the wear on the guitar. Here's his big old belt buckle on the back. Uh, just, you know, typical wear here and there. The pickup covers are all screwed up. You can see the Freddy pick scratches dug into the finish here. His, his steel finger picks along the pick guard edge here, which is typical for him. I know on the later Gibsons like this being a 66 or a 67, the finish has changed on these. So this has some poly mixed in with it so it's a little more stable and durable. So he didn't take the finish off as easily as he did with his earlier guitars. But you can definitely see the, 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 the typical Freddie wear. And uh, anyway, it's a, uh, I took off the tailpiece. I have it here. But Freddie actually disengage this tailpiece and put on a stop tail. I think just because it sounded better or maybe it stayed in tune better, I'm not sure, but anyway. So I do have this part here. You can see where it was, the fade from it being old with that thing on there. So anyway, I've got that it goes with the guitar. I've got tons of provenance. I mean, I've got a paper trail from the time Freddie guitar, Freddie traded this into a music store down in Texas and the whole chain of command, the people that owned it, written verifications, signatures, all the way through the years. And then it ended up in a collector's place in California who really wasn't a guitar player, but he just put it away for a long time and I just ran into it by accident. So I was really lucky because I'm a big Freddie fan. Uh, this is the case, came with it. Uh, on the flip side, it's, it's got stenciled on there. Freddie King, Texas Cannonball. Very cool, man. And there's several pictures here of the guitar from years ago. And there's Freddie playing the guitar. And there's uh, a bandmate. I got letters from bandmates, manager, all sorts of stuff with the provenance here. So that's about it. It plays great. It actually sounds great for one of these. I never was really crazy about these guitars, but this particular one... Sounds fantastic. And that's it. It's for sale. So if you're interested, uh, I'm taking offers on it. All right. Thank you.